Hello everyone, Kali here. Um, I thought I would um, go over the untiered class sets now that we have four of them. Um, we have the uh, Hunter set from the Ocean Trench, uh, the uh, Priest set from Manor of the Immortals, uh, the Trickster set from David Jones's Locker, as well as the new uh, Sorcerer set from Mad Labs. Uh, I'll go through the items one by one and mention the uh, alternatives here and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I prefer so yeah here we go here we are in the ocean trench uh, I'm using the um, set here the uh, coral bow uh, which has a little bit longer range than the other bows 8 to be exact and it shoots two arrows and um, it is um, a very good very good uh, weapon I uh, use it most of the time I never carry a covert around the covert would be a little bit better on uh, low defense monsters this is actually the first time I've used it in a very long time. Um, yeah, uh, if you're shooting at high HP, high def monsters, you'd obviously want to be using the Doombow instead. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for the uh, cool bow. You use it all the time, except for on high defense, high HP mobs, well you'll want to use the Doombo. Uh, which are the traps here? Um, we have the uh, Antir trap, of course. Um, it has a little lower MP cost than the uh, tier 6 trap. And I think it does more damage too. Let's see, uh, 300, 350, yeah. Um, the giant trap, giant catcher trap, obviously slows instead of paralyzes and it has a bigger range for the uh, both the damage and the slow. Well, let's see if I can use them here on something relevant. Yay. Paralyzed. And I'm gonna run out of oxygen here. Um, yeah, it also gives uh, dexterity and speed, which was something the uh, abilities on Huntresses were mi was missing. The um, a quiver on archers already gave, but I think it's five decks or something. So it was a much needed uh, boost for the Huntress. Um, the um, I, I usually only wear the um, Coral Venom Trap all at all times, except for when I'm I actually need a slow, which is very very seldom so I usually just leave it in the vault only carry the uh, coral venom trap around I rarely use a trap at all because I feel it is quite unnecessary it's only for when you're doing something specific like if you're soloing um, the tomb bosses or something stupid for no reason um, yeah I didn't bring any other armors here. I have the uh, other armored armor on uh, the trickster. I'll show it there. Uh, I prefer the coral silk. Um, I guess I sh could. I might as well be using the the new untiered one because you don't really need all the defense. But yeah, it's not like you're going to be carrying two armors around. So just pick the one you like. I like this one. Uh, yeah, uh, the ring, all of the rings really, just pretty much irrelevant because you have the amulet. Um, but if you're really into not using amulets, it is not very useful anyway because you have the um, the um, um, the ring from the tomb. I'm not sure which one it is, but it, it it's somewhat similar, I think. It gives MP and 
probably speed too. I, I'm not sure. I think it's a, a good upgrade. The Sphinx, uh, the Tomb Ring, that is. I'm not sure if it's the Sphinx or the Nile. Maybe both. Anyway, that's about it for the uh, Huntress. Um, yeah. Okay, here we are on a priest in the manner of um, immortals. Manner of the immortals, I'm not sure. Um, that's the way it should be. We have the uh, Saint Abraham's Wand, um, which is, uh, I'm not sure what the damage is, if it's on par with the tier 10 or something, I'm not sure. Tier 9 or tier 10. The C1 is it 5 to 1? Uh, well, I think it's about the tier 9, but perhaps the same as, uh, as a crystal wand. Um, I actually like this wand. Um, well, it's not uh, very common that you see me using it because of the C1. Uh, you use the C1 for pretty much anything. Um, but as a um, as a straight upgrade from the recomp, I prefer the uh, Saint Abraham's wand uh, because of the um, uh, wisdom and vitality it has. Um, but yeah, you'd obviously prefer the uh, crystal one for pretty much anything. And uh, obviously the recomp would do more damage than the St. Abraham's one, but... But, um, well, if you want to do damage, you'll just have to get on a wizard or something that does damage instead of a priest. If you want to do damage, don't play a priest. Pretty simple. Um, the Tome of Purification uh, removes negative effects. Let's see if I can get a negative effect. If I can find a bat or something. Yay, confused. And it's cleared. Mm, yeah, very good. Um, a very good tome. Uh, the um, the only two tomes that you carry or you should be carrying around is the uh, holy protection and the purification, of course. There is really no need for, to be carrying around the holy guidance tome. I never do. Um, well, yeah. So that one is out, I suppose. Carry those two around, and I carry the Saint Abraham's and the crystal one around. Uh, the robe is just just useless, I suppose. Um, it's not meant to be any good. Uh, it's a mid tier dungeon, so mid tier gear. Uh, um, there's really no reason to keep it around for, for vitality and less of everything else, so it's of no interest whatsoever. Um, the um, ring, again, you'd obviously want to be using the resurrection, so. But it's, it, I think it got an upgrade in. Not sure when, but I think it just be four vitality, four wisdom, but I'm not entirely sure. So it's a little bit better than uh, the extra rings, I suppose, if you want vitality and wisdom. But other than that, it's entirely useless. It does look nice with the set, though. So, whoa. So here we have the um, trickster set. Um, I really like the new dagger. Um, it ha it has more damage than uh, the foul does, but it has a little bit shorter range. It's point four range, but I don't really see that as a problem. And the uh, added damage range, what that does is, well, makes it a little bit less reliant when you're doing uh, low HP mobs. Uh, so if you're doing like gods, then I guess the foul is better still because you're killing them with more certainty with, I don't know, five shots or whatever it takes. Um, but for higher um, higher HP mobs, I definitely use the Spirit Dagger instead. And since I don't really grind gods on my trickster or anything else for that matter, I just don't carry the foul around anymore. Um, you'd obviously want the Dirk as well around for the mana region mostly but if there's 
uh, any chance of um, uh, you getting to use it, uh, you should definitely use it because it does more damage. Um, the prism, um, it drops a bomb, like so, that explodes after a second. I think it does 300 damage, I'm not sure, something like that anyway, um, which makes it pretty uh, useless. It's about the same as a, as a hit with a dagger, you see these, they make like, most, some of them are even above 300. Um, so it's of no use for the damage, so uh, it still teleports, but if it's, if it's only used as a teleport, then you'd be better off with a tier 0 uh, prism, of course, uh, because it's cheaper. Uh, to use it just for the three decks seems kind of, I don't know, a bit too min-maxi. So I just never carry it around. Uh, I only use the um, tier 6 prism for when I need a decoy and the um, uh, tier 0 one if I need a, a teleport, of course. Um, the spectral cloth armor, uh, it has 3 attack speed decks along with the 14 defense. Um, the hydra, I didn't, I never use hydra anymore because, uh, because of the added speed on the new armors. Man, I'm not even looking where I'm going here. Um, you will be getting the same speed as with the Coral Silk, um, but uh, one less dexterity uh, for the two defense you give up, which is it's an okay trade, I suppose, if you feel like you're not taking any damage. On the bow classes, you, if you're going for just straight up grinding gods, I suppose the uh, Spectral armor is better, but when you're doing um, a little bit more of um, events and such, I guess the um, Coral Silk would be a little bit ahead. The speed is very nice uh, and um, the added defense definitely helps when there's a lot of, lot of bullets flying around. Oh, I've been using the stupid ring. Um, the ring, Captain's Ring, uh, 3 attack, 3 dexterity and 40 HP. Uh, well, it's beyond me. I don't, I don't even know. It's of no use to anyone, I suppose. 2% fame bonus too. Awesome. Yeah, that's about it for the trickster, I suppose. Uh, okay, here we are in the Mad Lab. Mad Lab. Mad Lab. Uh, with the untiered sorcerer set. Uh, let's start with the wand. Um, it has the same average damage as the 3 comp, um, but it has a die higher range, so there's more chance involved. Um, it's basically just the same as a recomp, so there's absolutely no reason to have it if you have... Well, I prefer the Abraham's wand, but the wand of recompense works just as well if you want something that doesn't pierce. I'd like to see one, which I use most of the time anyway. So I, I only carry the crystal one and the Abrams one. Uh, so the new untiered is of no use whatsoever. Um, well, yeah, will work. Good, fun. Um, the scepter. I find the scepter is quite useful. Uh, it's the same as a, a tier 4 scepter, I think. I think that those are 180 to 7 targets, I'm not sure. Um, though the difference is that these, this uh, scepter slows. Well, it says that it dazes them. I'm not sure, but... Um, this scepter's blast is so powerful it will daze opponents with slow for 3 seconds. I think um, trustee on the forums, Doc, um, tested it. I think it's four seconds, but I'm not entirely sure. You never know with the devs. Um, it is a useful item. Um, it's good for, uh, like, if you're doing a Leviathan, trying to shoot him with your slow wand, slow him down a little bit. It doesn't cost a whole lot, so that's good. Uh, if you're going for straight-up damage, I guess the Scepter of Storms is better. I will probably just be 
throwing away my scepter of storm and just use the uh, untiered one because you're now not really using the scepter for doing a lot of damage uh, yep that's pretty much it um, the um, the robe has less attack uh, less defense less mana I mean less wisdom, uh, but it has more MP and uh, it, uh, it also has three added speed. Um, if you if you really want the speed, that's good I suppose, but I'd rather have the added attack uh, and defense of course. There's really no need to have more MP because at a certain point you're just using wisdom anyway. Uh, if you need that many scepter spams in one go, just bring a mana pot instead, you're better off. Um, the ring, um, I think it's <laughs> it's an interesting item, I think. The sprite looks awful, but um, yeah, it's a, it's an okay beginner's item, I think. Uh, HP MP is always good. Vitality Wisdom, of course, and the one defense. It's kind of a an odd item, but has nothing to do with the sorcerer, but. It's it's okay for a starter item, but nothing that you would use, even if you were seriously looking for, uh, seriously not using amulets at all. Yeah, that's about it for the sorcerer new set. Okay, so here are the um, the way that my characters would look like normally, um, without all their crap in their inventories. Uh, the Huntress wearing his entire set with the Doom Bow to swap. Um, Priest wearing the Tome with the Abrahams to swap. Um, Trickster just wearing the Spirit Dagger. I don't really kill God so no foul. And the Sorcerer with the Scepter for the slow. Um, I'll be putting in the um, boss kills from the dungeons after this so you don't have to watch this, it's kind of boring. But thanks for watching. Bye.